we are ready. The folks standing behind me, um, they've done this before. Preparing for snow, the DOT is gearing up to keep our roads safe. We'll take a look at what they've been doing ahead of the storm. Cities and towns all across the state getting ready for this first snow of the year. We'll have live team coverage tonight with everything you need to know to be prepared yourself. Fox 61 Connecticut's news station begins with a weather watch alert. Good evening and thanks for joining us for the Fox 61 News at 6. I'm Brent Hart and I'm Sarah Sanchez. We're in a weather watch alert tonight. The first real snow of the year is on the way. We have team coverage uh, taking a look at how communities are preparing for this snowfall. But first, let's begin with Chief Meteorologist Rachel Frank for a look at how the uh, forecast is shaping up. Rachel yeah, and it looks like just about everybody is going to be digging out from this storm in one way or another. It all gets underway tomorrow night between 5 to 8 p.m. and the heaviest will be shortly after that for Saturday evening, Saturday night. But the heaviest is over by the time you wake up on Sunday morning. By Sunday morning, we are still seeing some patchy snow and some additional accumulation, but I don't think it'll be quite as heavy. The toughest travel conditions will be overnight, but obviously still some snow cover roads by Sunday morning. Well, Plows are still getting out there to do cleanup, and we're also watching the potential for a temperature drop Sunday afternoon that could cause any slushy or wet surfaces to freeze up. We're expecting four to eight inches of snow for most of the state. There could be some higher amounts in northwestern Connecticut and two to four for the shoreline with some slightly lower amounts southeast. So you'll see a bunch of alerts here from the National Weather Service. The winter storm warnings are in effect where the National Weather Service has the greatest confidence in the potential for a half a foot or more of snow where there's less confidence in that you'll see winter storm watches and winter weather advisories. Temperatures right now are in the 30s for most of the state, but 20s for Meriden and for Norwich. This is part of our storm that is starting to get underway, but another piece of energy will kind of join the party and help the storm to intensify even more quiet through the overnight hours and really through the day tomorrow. No weather issues with cloudy skies and temperatures rising into the 30s. Again, that snow developing tomorrow night coming down heavy at times for a little while with snow lingering into Sunday. We'll show you the future radar, kind of help you plan out your weekend coming up. All right, Rachel, thank you. Crews are prepping for this impending storm all across the state. In Hartford, Mayor Arunan Aralampalam is activating a 24-hour parking ban, which uh, starts at 6 p.m. tomorrow. Fox 61's Emma Woolforce caught up with the mayor, Connecticut DOT officials, and the governor. She joins us live now from the Fox 61 Sky Deck with more on how the state is preparing. Hi, Emma. Hi, Sarah Brent. Well, there's no snow out here just yet. It was still a very busy day for those crews, both out on the roads and behind the scenes, finishing up those last minute preps for this impending weekend storm, which could dump several inches of snow across the state. Salt is being loaded. Trucks are getting set for the first significant snowstorm in nearly two years. I think the storm has been a long time coming. Friday, crews across the state were pre-treating roadways. They're snow fighting professionals behind us. This is what they're trained to do, and they, they know how to keep those roads safe. Connecticut DOT has 630 snowplow trucks and 900 drivers ready to tackle the weekend weather. Given the expected timing of the storm, we're uh, pretty happy that it's going to be hitting late Saturday night into Sunday. That gives us plenty of room to do our jobs. From DOT service centers across the state to the capital city. We're going to have 30 snow plows going through the city all day. We're going to be laying down salt and we're, we're going to have those snow plows going through um, right when the snow starts falling on sa Saturday night. Arulampalam is instituting a 24 hour parking ban starting Saturday at 6 p.m. to give city plow drivers room to do their jobs. This is the first major snowstorm in two years. So do what you can to be home. Do what you can to stay off the roads. That message echoed at the state level, too. We're New Englanders, so uh, it should be second nature about how to drive in the snow, but it's always important to remind folks since it's been so long since our last major storm. Let them do their job. Let them do their job safely. And as you heard from our state and local officials multiple times, the main message here, stay off the roads from tomorrow night 
through early Sunday morning. But Connecticut State Police tell me if you do need to be out there, if you have to travel or have to go to work, just make sure to take safety precautions. Make sure your windshield wipers are working on the car. Keep headlights on the entire time you're driving. Make sure your phone is charged up before you get out on the road. And of course, drive slowly, take your time and definitely leave plenty of space for those plows as they're out there making sure our roads stay clear up on the sky deck. Emma Wolf Forest, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station. All right, Emma, thank you. And of course, all of that is happening in cities and towns all across the state as we gear up for this first snowstorm of the season. And while uh, most of us will be hunkering down at home, plow drivers are the ones getting ready to saddle up and hit the roads. Fox 61's Carmen Chow is in Meriden with how the city is pre uh, prepping for what's to come there. Carmen. Merida's plow drivers left at 4 p.m. today. That's because they're home getting a good night's rest because the next 48 hours will be super busy for them. And they did pass along some tips that could help them get the job done faster. Michael Gerard is the owner of Crossroad Service, a landscaping company that also provides plowing services for businesses and homes. With request coming in last minute, he says so far his team of four will be plowing at 36 places. You're going to make sure everything has gas in it. If the snowblowers need gas, you're going to get gas for the snowblowers. You're going to start the snowblowers up. You're going to make sure you have ice melt. You're going to make sure you have salt for the salters. Potentially having to work 24 hours nonstop, it's a job he doesn't mind. I'm excited, excited for sure. Since the month of December came and went without any snow, Gerard had some dusting off to do. It's tough because the equipment sits and then when you need it for a storm, if it's been sitting for a month with no use, you know, usually you're dealing with dead batteries or you're dealing with, you know, low tires on some of them. Meanwhile, on the city level, Meriden plans to have 20 drivers out in full force, all of them scheduled to be on 16 routes on Saturday. Their job, though, started Friday when they began to pre-treat the roads. This is New England, but everyone needs to relearn how to drive in snow. John Lawler, the director of Meriden's Public Works and Engineering, advises residents to not shovel their driveway until municipalities finish plowing or they will have to deal with residual snow. You may see the driver, but the driver may not see you. So do everything you can to be careful and, and, uh, and be considerate for those large pieces of equipment that are out there trying to do the job. The challenge in Meriden, lots of narrow roads, dead ends, and cul-de-sacs, but it's nothing city plowers can't handle. This is their Super Bowl. They live for the, the big storms. Make sure you don't have any cars or trash cans along public roads because Meriden's parking ban will begin at 6 p.m. tomorrow, and that ban will be lifted once the storm is over. Reporting in Meriden, Carmen Chow, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station. And New Haven's gearing up for its first plowable snow of the season. Fox 61's Julia LeBlanc joins us from the Elm City at the Salt Barn on Middletown Avenue. So, Julia, what's happening there? Take a look at this salt barn. It is filled with two tons of salt, a lot of it left over from last year. But the folks here at the New Haven Department of Public Works are ready to put this and their new equipment to good use. This is the first really snowstorm we've had in over 20 months. It has been a while since these plows have been sent out in heavy snow. Last year we only responded out, I believe it was three times, two to three times, and usually we go out 16 times a year. But getting them ready is second nature to the New Haven Public Works team. We started this morning, we started putting plows on all the trucks, checking the, the, uh, the vehicles out, making sure everything's working properly. Come Saturday morning, they'll be out in full force, treating the roads. When the snow starts falling, 40 trucks will be clearing Elm City streets, all 221 miles of them. During the storm, the goal is to keep the roads passable, and then the pushback operation to the curb doesn't start until the snow starts tapering off. But it's not just city workers being pressed to prep. New Haven neighbors are also asked to take on a few tips. When those plows are coming down the road, Make sure, make sure that you give them the road. 
pull to the side. It's like a fire truck or an ambulance or a police car. Pull to the right. Let the plows do their work. That also means being a good neighbor when it comes to clearing your sidewalk. Make sure you're doing your three foot clearance on the sidewalk. I like to think about it, um, how a wheelchair or somebody pushing a baby stroller is going to get by. An obligation residents need to complete 24 hours after the storm. And it's a storm this team is ready for. With a full staff ready to take on another New England winter. We brought about four new people in over the summertime and we're, we're getting them trained. This is going to be their first snowfall. Now outside of the operations here, the city will also have its three warming centers open for extended hours throughout the storm on top of an overflow site at 200 Orange Street. There's also a parking ban going into effect at midnight on Saturday. We'll have the details on Fox61.com. For now, we're in New Haven. Julia LeBlanc, Fox61. Connecticut's news station. All right, Julia, thank you. And Connecticut's news station is on top of this nor'easter headed our way for the latest forecast. Hour by hour radar and projected snow totals. Just download our free Fox 61 app. Also in New Haven here, the city is investigating its first homicide of the new year. Taking a live look at the scene, city officials confirm a man was found shot to death inside a home on Carmel Street. This time, we don't have the name of the victim, but the New Haven police chief identified him, him as a 45-year-old man from New Haven. We have a Fox 61 News crew on scene, and we'll bring you any new information as soon as we get it. And uh, new tonight, a billboard in the capital city condemning Hamas has been vandalized. That billboard located along I-91 reads, let's be clear, Hamas is your problem too, but it was defaced to read Hamas instead of Hamas. And a Palestinian flag was put onto the board. The organization that put up the billboard saying in a statement, it is outrageous and alarming to see vandals making light of the devastating situation in the Middle East. FBI is accusing a Hartford man of making threats against VA hospitals, members of Congress, and federal staffers. Aubrey Rose, with knives attached to his tactical jacket, allegedly tried to gain entry into a congressional staff office in Hartford. Police say he was unsuccessful and was escorted out of the building. Rose is also accused of showing up at the West Haven and Newington VA offices and making threats, and he's accused of sending threatening emails to four members of Congress. In Newtown now, police say a man had an inappropriate relationship with a juvenile and he's now under arrest. Richard Neal was previously arrested for a similar off, uh, off, offense. He allegedly sexually assaulted a juvenile student he was giving private music lessons to. He's being held on a $100,000 bond. A man charged in connection with a deadly shooting in Bloomfield was brought back to Connecticut and appeared in court today. Devante Swabi was arrested last month in Arizona. He was wanted for murder in the deadly shooting that killed 31-year-old Timothy Ross. Swabi faces numerous other charges in connection with that deadly shooting. Norwalk police are searching for suspects involved in a distraction burglary. Police releasing uh, photos of the car believed to have been driven by the suspects. Uh, officials say a resident on Coventry Place was approached approached Wednesday by two men who claimed to be from the city and while the uh, resident uh, while they were talking to the resident a third man entered the home and stole jewelry they then drove off in a silver dodge pickup truck anyone with information about what happened there should call Norwalk police